Yeah. So it's very different. It's very unique in Thailand because in Thailand we only have a official monument and have a very um, also always about the royal or important person. So this guy who is a normal, ordinary uh, uh, villager who who transform the land uh, to become his 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 uh, empire. Uh, so for me, it's, it's something that show uh, kind of uh, you know the struggle and the need to 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 show uh, his existence. And when he die, uh, his body uh, doesn't decompose, mm. and and so he actually he instruct and also the people put him in this coffin that. For me, it's, it's wonderful. It's like a spaceship coffin that this body doesn't rot. Uh, it's very inspiring. So uh, this is the actress, uh, Jen Jira, again, that, that traveled with us. And so she wrote a diary, and I also wrote my diary. And we published a diary together uh, about this journey uh, in the Northeast. Uh, it's along the Mekong River by the way. Yeah. And along the way I asked for well, if if that person know this guy named Bun Mi and we also went to the um, you know the government um, office to find to find the uh, the record of Uncle Bun Mi or his relatives. Um, but then we, we didn't find much and but but we went to this village. We stumbled onto the village called Nabua. is is a is a village that has the historical importance in the in the way that it's the first place that has a fight between uh, uh, communists, uh, the communists and the army in Thailand. Uh, communism is spread <coughs> spread from Laos uh, to Thai Thailand across the river, and and with the backing of the Americans, um, in Thailand, there's a lot of uh, propaganda and it's a lot of, uh, you say, a massive uh, kind of campaign to to kill and to get rid of communism. And this is the man in the photo, in the painting, who died, uh, the first, um, I mean, record casualty of civilian that uh, that died because. Um, because you have no choice, when when the communism spread into the region, um, um, people found the ideolo that ideology very attractive, appearing because they they have been ignored by by the central, which is Bangkok. So so people uh, really uh, uh, have a high hope in communism, like like during that time in the sixty, many people you know, did and. So when the, the army set up the camp to counter this uh, movement, and and people has been tra treated very badly, you know, like like animal, you know, some people were raped and killed uh, without reasons. And if they ask you, are you a communist? And if you say yes, of course you will be killed on the spot. Uh, but if you say, oh no, I'm not, uh, they will beat you up. So I have no choice. Many men just escape to the jungle, and and women and children just stay home to take care of the land, the rice field, and at the same time, uh, women are the very strong, very strong one because they're the one who risk their life, you know, um, putting the rice or some food uh, hidden in the buffalo uh, bell sometimes and to go to the edge of the rice field that where their husband came to get the rice, to get the food. Yeah. And and also it's the village uh, without dogs because when when the dog bark, um, the people are so scared because if if the dog bark the, the soldier will rush to your house and because they think that the husband came back. So people were so scared so they killed all their dogs. Um, so it's very a sad time for it. It lasts for more than twenty years in this village. So um, I move on. Um, I mean, 
uh, I move on to other places and because it's very heavy for me I'm not used to doing so direct I mean political um, movie um, so but somehow after I move on I couldn't get this village out of my mind so we came back we came back and then um, uh, by the way this is the, the little museum that have only these two books in the, in the museum of the village you know, that uh, very influenced by the uh, Marxist um, Marxist uh, idea um, so I came back and I decided okay let's work casually with the village with the teenager because I feel more close to them um, because they, they don't they the generation that they didn't have the first-hand experience of the, the killing um, like me so so uh, just hang around and talk and you know just um, just dream something up together um, uh, for me they they're like a seed like a seed from from the better tree uh, which is their former uh, generation and they have their memory that I want to absorb and uh, they have sometimes they, they say oh this place you know this land is my grandfather was killed here you know my father was beheaded there so um, so it's very hard for for me to try to simulate this experience so for me let's let's do, i say let's do something together uh, as an excuse to stay in the village and so i built together with the team uh, sketch up the spaceship so we draft many things together and um, and one of them, this is the one that uh, we really like. Uh, it's like a, because it's a mixture of animal and and spaceship <laughs> in a way. Um, in in these eyes, two eyes that uh, looking at you is is from one of the team, and and in the word written here is very cute because it's from it's from his. Uh, uh, his heart uh, that he 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 just broke up with his girlfriend and in this dialogue box he said look what you have done to me and on this eye he said don't look at my eyes because it's hurt or something like that and in this eye he said I'm always out of your eyesight or something like that so I'm really fascinated by this uh, so we draft something with the budget we have and the time we have, you know, we, we simplify it. <coughs> Just chip. Yeah. And then, this is a model on the ship I try to make on the, from that animal. So we start to, to build this uh, bigger scale that people can stay there. Um, So it's a metal uh, structure. So this is a draft, like uh, because I like this old science fiction illustration, you know, to draft like what is there in the village. And then we, you know, we we play we play around with the fiction and and you know and non-fiction and the reality of the the uniform that they have and and you know with the teens, you know, we we we. Just uh, for me, I just chart every day, and with my crew member, didn't know what we wanted, and just chart and play. We dream up stories together, and and then we make some fiction together, and and sometimes I put my dream in uh, the dream that I had before, like uh, the same dream that I put in the feature film Uncle Bunmi. So, so um, when the spaceship is finished, it's being used like this, uh, you know, uh, for me, they become a, a movie prop that I shot my movie. Um, so I asked them to sleep there, and during that time it was quite cold, so at night, so, so they, they actually s slept. Um, um, and also we, we made a record of all these houses that become a short film in the end, another short film. Yeah.
So, so it's always the same crew that I work with, you know, to, um, you know, it's changing from the spaceship there to here. And also the idea of the light also, um, the light in the sky that I mentioned earlier about the military flare and also the, the light, the fire, the natural light that uh, sometimes the, the villagers uh, depend on because after the uh, circle of uh, um, growing rice, uh, after a certain time they have to burn, burn the fuel to grow a new crop. So, yeah. And for me, I, I like this idea again of, of the fire uh, and the nature, that idea of destruction destruction but at the same time is for the, the new new uh, new uh, rice field yeah so this is spaceship that we used in the movie in the short film And also we made the, we, we also made the uh, film called Napur together. Um, just the, the idea of all her movie that, uh, that I grew up and I like, uh, you know, to, to invite people to witness the lightning. Yeah. So um, the idea of light, this is artificial light and the natural light uh, combined um, to make a movie. Um, and then with the people looking, you know, around very really closely um, and want to establish the idea of destruction and at the same time the pleasure, the pleasure of watching this uh, within the, the real space and also as a spectator for watching movie as a, you know, some, you know, uh, more uh, distant. Yeah. And also I draw for the short film. So, so for me it was when when the teenagers like growing their rice for me I growing my movie because I don't know how to grow rice so it's the same thing you know just just shoot so this is one of the short films that we made yeah, about the, the idea of light danger and pleasure and also the monkey is introduced in this village you know so uh, because it's, it's with the same idea of the spaceship, you know, as a vehicle to escape, uh, because I think there's no, there's no better time to escape from Thailand than now. So, so, uh, and also this, this <coughs> team, uh, they, they always have dream because they, they, they actually don't want to stay in the land. Uh, many people want to work in bigger city like Bangkok, mm -hmm. Chiang Mai, or Phuket. Um, because the land is very hard, hard to grow uh, crop crops, and and the weather is very harsh. So people, there's not many people left, and now um, not only within Thailand, but people want to 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 go to Canada, to Korea, uh, to Singapore, to work. Um, so the idea of um, the to go away is is uh, something prevalent in this space um, and for me um, I, I, I want to introduce a, a hybrid life form that changed and came back to the village uh, in, the, in the animal form uh, that, that's like he went away and he came back in a different form, change. So we made a little video of, of the guy coming back and, and we talk, we made an interview with him. And he lived peacefully within the village. <laughs> and this is how it was installed uh, in the. This is in in Munich, uh, Germany. <laughs> 